They're going to have to land it at Sutter. There's nowhere for them to land out here. It's too overgrown. Did you see him bounce? I saw the whole thing. It was horrible. I've seen the whole thing. That he bounced head first and then flopped like a rag doll and then the crowd landed on top of him and bounced back up into all fours. Yeah. And this is why we have helmets. I told him not to go on the ramp. Period. Danger. Oh, they're going to land in our garden. We're going to want to stand back once they get down with Ethan because they're going to circle out around a couple of times and land. find it really strange that we just tilled all the dirt up for our corn maze and now they're using it for a fucking landing pad. I think we should all say a prayer. He wrecked the quad. Crash. Hurt his head. Randy. Randy. Yeah. They're bringing the helicopter in. Wherever it is. Huh? Open it up. Yeah, in the helicopter. They're bringing it in right now. He's in here. It's over here. He went off the the ramp and hit his head. Bam! And flop. And then the quad went boom right on top of him. Why is that just coming me? Is that he is sleeping? It's funny to say the fire department is coming to the house. My house. Yeah. Yeah. You see her running? Yeah. Yeah. You see her? Yeah. yeah, you guys are going to get dusted real bad, so I'd probably hide some more. Have you ever seen this? No. It's going to create a huge wind. So Ethan might get scared a little bit. Oh. I got it. I'm going to in just a minute. I'm just going to wait for him to... Until we know if they're taking him to Santa Rosa or Sacramento or where. Probably taking him to Santa Rosa. He's going to circle around like two more times.
kick up a bunch of shit and it's going to be really loud and windy. So it might scare them. I don't know. was down here and one was up here and by the time I got to him I was trying to mobilize his head and neck so he wouldn't move and he was seizing up real bad and oh, shit. bad. Did He's conscious now yeah, though. Yeah. We all saw the whole thing. Yeah, we were sitting right there and he was out there in the creek and he came over the quad. I just told him don't go over the fucking ramp. It's a piece of shit. Yeah. Plus you're on a quad, not a dirt bike. And he just flew over it and went head first into the ground. Which leads me to believe he flew, out of the quad. he flew up over the handlebars, smashed head first into the ground, landed like a rag doll, and the quad landed on top of him. Oh, cool. Okay, you All of us. Two beers. Yes, sir. Sarah, S A R A N, is in Nancy Hendrix, H E N D R I X. Yeah. What's the date of birth? 7 30 83. Address? 2882 Scotts Valley Road. Yeah, that's my fifth wheel. Okay. This is Pope's property, and Randy Care takes it, and we're both. That's his trailer and that's mine. I just moved back here from Arizona. Okay. Um, what, what happened? What was he riding? The quad. The white one? Yeah. Okay. He took it over that ramp. He was coming up out of the creek. Landed head first on the ground. Smashed into the ground like a rag doll. And then the quad landed on top of him and bounced off. Yeah. I mean, he was airborne for a while. and flew over the handlebars or well I think the quad tip he flew forward like this over Did the quad no hey uh, can I use uh, your phone or something does anybody know hey, go, hey, go oh, end over end well yeah he flipped over the quad smashed his head on the ground and flew forward and the quad landed on top of him and that's... Okay. Uh, actually, uh, I'm thinking that the quad hit the ground and that's when he flew over and the quad landed on him. It was pretty traumatic because I saw it coming before it happened. Okay, what's your phone number? 707-350-0783. It's your hand, buddy. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Alright, you saw that, sir? Yeah. We haven't had a chance to call your mom or anything. His phone's over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling her right now. Don't panic her. Where's, where's Jaden at? Jaden is with T. Oh, okay. He's been with T since yesterday evening. Does she know yet? No, nobody. We haven't had time. They just got here a little while ago. What? Is he in stable condition? So far, right now, yeah. You wanted to wheel the journey in for Cody and for Robin, okay? Okay. 
That was Memorial. Okay, got it. I told my uncle, my uncle's pretty calm, he'll probably tell, he'll tell my mom when she rolls in. They're taking him to Santa Rosa Memorial. I saw him move, he was holding his hands up. Yeah, he was conscious and everything when they got there. The thing that worries me is the head injury and the fact that his eyes rolled back and he seized up. Yeah, his, uh, he was flopping around. He was moving his feet though, right? Yeah, but it, I mean, he could still have a neck injury. He just Oh yeah, he can have a neck injury. Head injury makes... for sure. I mean, you want to make sure those nerves are connected because once they disconnect, then you're paralyzed. You know? I know. It looked like he was moving his limbs. Well, the you would know. The concussion will be, that's for sure, he'll have a concussion. I just want to make sure there's no bleeding internally because it, it bled so much and then it perfused. I mean, it not didn't perfuse, but it stopped. And then that's what worries me. Because I did go to school to be a medical assistant, I'm not bragging, but I didn't go to school to work in ER, and I'm not good with traumatic situations with people I know. That's exactly why I couldn't do it. But I saw him bounce, and it was... He's going to be just fine, and he's got a really bad concussion. Okay, he might have a possibly broken leg. Maybe broken ribs. But I think overall, he's going to be okay. All right? All his, limbs are, all his limbs are working good, no nerve damage? Not they don't leg. know how, I mean... But you said it was broken, lost right? Conscious. Yeah, I think so. I he was unconscious for... This was your fault? It seemed like forever to me, but... Uh, and it is a long time. And he's asking the same questions over and over again, so that's telling me. He hit his head hard. Okay? Very hard. Yeah. So but they'll take very good care of him. As soon as you can get down, to be there with... Good. You know. That's all positive. Okay. Hi. Folks, family of... I'm mom. Mom? Mom. Okay. And girlfriend. Girlfriend. Okay. Friend, girl. So, um, mm -hmm. were you guys aware that he had had this accident? Yeah. Yes, I knew we he had an accident. I just, until I got here, uh -huh. didn't know... Where did the accident occur? Where do you guys live? Scotts Valley in Lakeport, California. Okay. Okay, kind of up in there. And was, was he, like, um, riding with a group or just by himself? Or He was riding by himself on the quad and went over the ramp in about midair... I saw him start to go over because the so quad. So you were riding as well, or we were sitting at the watching. picnic table. We had all just you, got you off. Had, you could yeah, see, we you were all. Yeah, we. I saw the whole okay. thing. And so what? Just kind of went up and flipped over. Or something? Flipped over, landed head first. Uh -huh. Immediately went out and like smacked the ground, like a rag doll, the rest of uh -huh. his body, and then the quad landed on top of him. Yeah. Okay. And then he, his body seized up like this, and his eyes rolled back in his head, and he. Yeah, okay. and so no helmet. Yeah. Right. No helmet. So he has a, a, a variety of different injuries. It's not inconsistent with that kind of violence of an accident. He's got a skull fracture. He's got a little bit of bleeding in the brain. 
He's got um, some broken ribs. He's got tiny little collapses in the lungs. And he's got some bruising in the lung. And he may have a tiny little injury around the spleen. All of those things he would, should get better. There's not, none of those things are, and the fact that he's kind of moving everything and while well, he's a little bit dinged up and kind of concussed, the fact that he's talking and all that it's stuff good. Uh, is, is, is good. Now, the, the, the challenging thing we're having right now is we had him ready to go to surgery, had the OR crew getting ready, and then they brought another patient in with an even Critical. more devastating head injury who is using our Operating. neurosurgeon mm. and, and the like. We've been trying to, we have three neurosurgeons on our trauma team um, and we're trying to reach another one. If we can't in very short order, he's going to need to get transferred to a, another hospital that has neurosurgical capability because this isn't something that should wait because we could potentially see something that is salvageable with a good outcome get more risky I completely if you understand wait, if you wait too so long. when you're saying transfer him to another hospital to wait to be transferred to another hospital no no we would like it we're, we're, our, our to transfer do the center surgery right is now is is scouting around for the nearest trauma center that you has, can't do it here we, There's we a normally patient would do it here but are we our neurosurgeons operating on somebody else and he can't do two things at the same time. Okay. So he, he either either we need to find a second neurosurgeon here that can do the surgery on this campus in this operating room okay. or he needs to get transferred to a place where there okay. is an available okay. neurosurgeon immediately. Okay, so there's still a possibility he might have it. Yeah, we're making yet. a lot of phone calls right now. Okay. okay. But I think I think everybody's just so far away. Yeah and and, and it, it may be that he ends up at some place like UC Davis. It may end up that he's in the city of San Francisco. We don't know, but right. it's more important to me that we have a, the a, quickest way a we team, can get him. Yeah, a yeah. team to do the surgery the quick, as quick and, as possible. And, and, and then how how long is this surgery about? Does it a couple make? hours. And and um, I mean, it's, they do them all the time. It's pretty positive. We do them all the time. I mean, there's no way to know exactly what's going to happen, but without treatment, this could be a life-threatening right. condition. So, but there's a good chance that the surgery will be effect. It will. He'll be okay. I think that there's a good chance of that. Yeah. yeah. So that's. We'll keep you posted. That's the next step. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Randy, you cracked up. So. Mm. Okay, I need to go make some calls. Yeah. I'm gonna, my phone does not work in here. I'm gonna use that phone, you can dial in. Yes, visiting hours start at 8 30 in the morning, they end at 6 30 at night. They start back up at 8 30 at night. Um, and they end at 11 30 at night. And then the phone number. What we prefer is that someone take the initiative to call one person if there's going to be a phone call and com communicate that to the rest of the family that need to know. It's, it's much better than having five people try to call us and he's in here and we're having trouble with him uh, and trying to get to a telephone. So it's much easier if someone gives one call in the evening time if no one can come. Uh, otherwise, if you're coming, you can see for yourself what's going on and we'll explain everything to you, of course, and then you can spread the news. It, when we come during the regular visiting hour, you, you, just, you can visit him for a few minutes for the first few days, and that's it. And, and then you know, I here in the ICU, we usually leave that up to the nurse. They'll tell you, you know, if they need you to step out or how long you can stay. And we're pretty lenient. But I mean, for his well being. The nurse will let you know. Okay. The nurse will let you know. Short visits are good in the beginning. How long do you think that the ICU recovery process will be until they move them well, to the... Well, um, I'm, I'm thinking at least three days. So I can let, just take care of our animals and then come back? Where do you live? I just don't understand. Santa Rosa, don't you? We live in Lake County. Lake County, okay. That's okay, That's though. a long way. Not okay. really. Well, I can, I mean it is, but okay. Um, you know, 
he will be when he comes out and goes to a room it most likely be a shared room mm -hmm. and visitors don't stay overnight in shared rooms usually I just don't want to wake up and forget again and freak out. We're all we're here. We're right here. I, I don't leave this room. Oh, okay. The nurse that's going to have him down today will probably sit right outside of this room. Okay. We're this is ICU. I know. I've always been I, that I, one. I don't. I've never really been in here. You get it? Awake. I see you. Gotcha. Okay. It's ICU. Don't take your eyes off. No, we don't take our eyes off of them, especially not people like him. Yeah. They have had brain surgery that have the potential to be confused and try to fall out of the bed. Okay. And they put a stent in? They Is that put, what they did? No. They evacuated the hematoma, which is a collection mm -hmm. of blood. They sucked it out and then they put a drain in there. Is it going to his stomach? No. That is for someone that has a hydrocephalus or a large head. Okay. Then they drain it from the back of the neck into the stomach. This is completely different. We'll get this drained out in about two days. My job is to make sure that that blood doesn't drain too much or too little. Okay. Okay. And to measure it. Mm. And to keep him from pulling it out. Mm. That's the most oh. major part of the job. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So also, uh, the the main thing is preventing infection going into his mm -hmm. brain. Okay, so that's another reason why we wash our hands. He's got surgical sites. Does anybody know if he got a tetanus shot through this? I don't know, but. I think if they would have asked him, he would have no clue. But if they haven't given him one, I would. It doesn't appear to have had one. So I'll ask, the, it seems like the ER doctor would have done that down there. I'm going to give them a call. Religious beliefs or practices that would uh, affect his hospital stay? We pray. <laughs> but yeah. there's nothing that, that, would, no. that we should avoid or... Yeah. Okay. All right. Courtney, you ready to do these x-rays? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's do them. So we're happy to have you. Then you guys are going to do the rest of his x-rays? with. We're going to do his shoulder and we're going to do a chest right yeah, now. Yeah, right shoulder and a chest. Okay. Did, they, did the MRI show anything with the back or anything? I don't know. I, don't know. I have MRI. Like the cervical spine? Or I have not had a chance to read it. Yeah. But he's still on C-spine precautions. Okay. All right, go ahead and step out so we can x-ray you. Huh? Okay. Hi, Randy. My name is Courtney. We're going to do some x-rays We'll bring you today. back in. Go ahead and step out so we can get these x-rays done. Huh? We'll be done in just a